At You're a Cool Bean X wants to know if you're ever going to write a book yourself. Um, I do occasionally fantasize about writing books, and then I change my mind. Why? Um, I don't know. I like to read books, so. At Mrs. Jesse Redus asks, what's the craziest thing you've ever done? Um, uh, that's a difficult question to answer. There was, I, I, I once, uh, my wife and I smuggled ourselves into China, a, buried in the back of a vegetable truck. Um, Why? Because we didn't have visas to get into the country and we really wanted to go. Um, but in hindsight, I see that that was maybe not that smart. Were you caught? Yes. How did you get By it? By the butt of a machine gun. How did you get out? Um, we... <laughs> We played innocent. We acted like we had fallen asleep in the in the vegetables, and um, and I think that they didn't really care about it. They realized that a couple of backpackers like us weren't going to really You're bring not down the government. Yeah. To bomb Shanghai. Yeah. Mrs. At Spot Nick Cattell tweets: Is there any person, concept, or philosophy that has inspired Misha Collins in his charity work? Um, that's a good question. Yeah, actually, strangely, I think there there is one one. There's one woman that sticks out in my head. I, when I was six, my, I grew up in a very poor family. My mother was on welfare, and we were homeless at times. And there was a kid in my class. His mother gave my mom a hundred dollars so that she had money to buy us Christmas presents one year. Um, it was a woman that we didn't really know, and it was a small gesture for her, but it made a huge difference in our family. And I and I remember that to this day. Um, so it's the idea that you do that really even small acts of kindness can be make a profound di difference to somebody else. At Word Beast, an important question. Does the cast make out with one another periodically? And it says, be honest. Um, on Supernatural, we have uh, really long, tiresome work days. And at times, um, just, I would say, just to comfort uh, ourselves, we, have we do have sex. Uh, but we do it. Uh, we try to do it tastefully. Uh, at the at the set. Yeah, on set, obviously. Okay. At Hetty Bobcat wants to know what do his wife and family think of his hugely fanatical fan base. Um. I think that I think that my my wife is mostly just in a state of denial about the fans. So I think that that's a healthy approach. Nicola Piccolo has a challenge for you. How many grapes can Misha fit in his mouth? <laughs> so that's why there's a bowl of grapes on uh, the table. I was wondering. And also, what are your <laughs> thoughts on sloths? Um, I think that sloths are actually aptly named. And man, well, <sighs> you don't have to do this. It's not a. But if you want to, go ahead. This is uh, this is like a circus freak trick. These are big grapes, too. Why? How, are you known to putting a lot of big things in your mouth? <laughs> do you do realize how that question came up? Don't I don't I? care. <laughs> At this point, I don't care. Um, I think that might have been my threshold. Right, one, one grape. Yeah. At Haley Painter wants to know that. Supernatural saved my life, it says. I don't have a question. Just thank you for being such a great cast. Well, thank you. Wow, you saved his life. That's really... Yeah, nice to hear. At, Ye <laughs> At Yellenly asked, does the amount of influence you have over people ever scare or worry you? Um, well, I think that it would be um, pretty megalomaniacal to think that I had a scary uh, amount of influence over people, so I'm okay with saying no. And finally, at Carla Dammit tweets, I want you to snap his suspenders oh so gently. I think she's talking oh, about Oh, you're his. the his. Yeah, because Sharon Stone does this all the oh time. Oh, my God. You with, do it, Misha? with this, I want to do. But gently. Yeah, that was nice. Thank you, Misha. He'll never be back. <laughs> <laughs> Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday through Thursday, on demand on Hulu and Aura.tv.